what defines indian cinema this video is an attempt to answer that question by watching all of the films recommended by some truly amazing filmmakers creators artists and film enthusiasts many different languages regions and cultures from all over india are represented in these films these films aren't ranked in any specific order but i guarantee you'll enjoy them all I would like to recommend the 2018 Tamil film called Piranbu directed by Ram. This is 30 Days of Indian Cinema where I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an Indian film that everyone must watch. The recommendation for today comes from Basundara also known as Gangs of Cinepo. Piranbu examines the depths of compassion, acceptance and the indomitable human spirit through the perspective of an unconditional father's love for his disabled daughter. Ram's direction is a lesson in storytelling, expertly interweaving brutal facts of life with delicate and hopeful moments. Mamuti's portrayal of a father's struggle, development and unbreakable love for his daughter is nothing short of outstanding. The film Peranbu forces its audience members to examine the prejudices and reconsider what it means to love and care for another person. The film's stunning cinematography and evocative soundtrack immerses viewers in the characters' lives and let them feel their emotions. Peranbu shows how cinema can transcend language and culture to express love, acceptance and the human heart's indomitable spirit. The film stays with you long after the credits roll. Watch it for the brilliant performances especially that of Sadhana who plays the daughter and her heartfelt camaraderie with Mamuti. And the one Indian film that I'd love for you guys to watch is Anand Gandhi's Ship of Theseus. In 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential Indian film that everyone should see. Today's recommendation comes from Priyanshu and his work shows how much he loves films and good storytelling. The film's title inspired by the paradox of the Ship of Theseus serves as a strike metaphor for the core issue of metamorphosis and the concept of self all three main characters face their own unique identity crisis we feel deeply connected to each character's journey whether it's the blind photographer alia who questions the authenticity of her work and how her disability affects her view of reality the stockbroker navin who has to decide if it's moral to accept a kidney or the ascetic monk maitreya who has to balance his vow to not use violence with the harsh realities of the world ship of theseus is a deep look at what it means to be human an intellectual and emotional journey that changes our souls forever it's a work of part that stays with you and makes you think about life's most important questions like what makes us who we are are we our moral values are we our organs are we the philosophy in life that we follow or who are we what makes us who we are is the question that the film seeks an answer for and what we get in the exploration of the answer is an amazing incredibly well written and well shot film that makes for the perfect watching experience my recommendation for this series is 2023's kannada film hostel hudaguru beka giddare in this series titled 30 days of indian cinema i'll ask some of your favorite cinephiles for a must see indian film today's recommendation comes from porush aka long live cinema hostel hudaguru beka giddare is a film that explores themes of self awareness mockery and mainstream entertainment the filmmaker has kept the film's energy levels up by consistently delivering curve balls and the fact that there is no clear protagonist also contributes to the film success the director also includes several side stories some just as funny as the main plot the film isn't flawless but it does have a lot going on you can't watch this film without thinking of scott pilgrim project x chronicles and at long last shawshank redemption this film is probably one of the craziest and one of the most innovative love letters to cinema from india i mean you will have to pause at almost every scene to appreciate the amount of effort and time put into making this film This film is going to leave you completely overwhelmed with its amazing creative choices and yes of course it will also remind you of your hostel days. The film which I think everyone should definitely watch is 96. It's a Tamil film. This is 30 Days of Indian Cinema where I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an Indian film that everyone must watch. Today's recommendation comes from Arkesh the filmmaker of Rat in the Kitchen. One of my favorite shorts from the Jio Cinema Film Fest. 96 is a moving story about how memories can last a lifetime and how first love can leave a lasting mark on a person's soul. This story is expertly constructed and the actors give powerful performances. This movie takes you back in time to relive the intense feeling of youth and the bitter sweet taste of lost love. This film shows us that we can never really lose the past because it goes on in our memories and shapes the present and the future. It makes us think about the decisions we have made, the people we have loved and lost, and how nostalgia has changed our lives. In a world that moves too quickly, 96 is a beautiful reminder to stop think and treasure the people and moments that have touched our hearts it's just conversations mostly and to hold your attention with just conversations without any dramatic action sequence and everything is just like amazing i love films like that 
so 96 yeah i would like to recommend samarth majan's borderlands this is 30 days of indian cinema where i'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an indian film that everyone must watch today's suggestion comes from the first film buff i ever met my dad borderlands is fascinating because it tells the heartfelt stories of six actual people and the complex connections with one another and the border each individual's backstory is what draws the audience in and keeps them watching The honesty and the depth of feeling in each story will stay with you for a long time not in terms of style but in the terms of emotions it evokes so much style of narration throughout the documentary is engaging and leaves a lasting impression on the viewers by the end of the documentary i cared deeply about each character and what happened to them it will have you thinking about the state of a nation humanity and the truth the song ami tumake by lori kalavik and the survivor girls is the cherry on top of an already excellent documentary both tears of joy and sadness are brought on by this in order to get the past barriers and work together for a more peaceful and a connected world we need to be more united compassionate and cooperative my recommendation is the 2023 marathi film varvi directed by paresh mokashi in 30 days of indian cinema i'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential indian film that everyone should see today's recommendation comes from uma aka lyrically obscure There are no songs, meaningless romance or other fillers in Varvi. The runtime is exactly 1 hour and 46 minutes. The tempo is quick. The story is compelling and tightly written. All of the conversations are sharp and incisive. Paresh Mukashi's background in humor is solid, but I found myself pleasantly surprised by his work in thrillers. I hate to compare people, but he is the Sri Ram Raghavan of the Marathi film industry. In terms of acting, I think everyone did a fantastic job. Although I'm not usually a fan of Swapnil Joshi's work, I really liked his performance here. He should truly be exploited. for such unorthodox roles the work done by shivani surve is excellent as well in the end this is a film that you simply must see in particular those who enjoy thrillers in its current form hawa ne de has proven to be a significant addition to the library of works that attempt to represent india in the 90s and early 2000s this is 30 days of indian cinema where i'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an indian film that everyone must watch today's recommendation of hawa ne de comes from rahul also known as ek aur cinephile India's media and the architecture of its many major cities saw radical transformations as the country experienced a nightmare transition as the national economy went fully neoliberal in the wake of the end of cold war. For the newly hired under this economic model, getting by day to day wasn't a problem. Rather, the existential crisis came from the fact that they couldn't afford to live like idealized models depicted on billboards, MTV and in Bollywood. Great attention to detail is paid in Hawa ne de to the small but significant changes brought about by this transformation such as the introduction of french news channels cigarettes as gifts from the gulf and english as a minimum qualification for the lowest level jobs the movie hawa ne de centers on its characters it delves into how the current generation processes information and acts and that's how we get to watch the rather low key tale of a protagonist persistent desire to flee the nation for an indie film it does a terrific job in several aspects here are rahul's thoughts on the movie i think a lot of young people would relate to this film it's in a way a darker coming of age film where you're faced with the realities and the politics of life and how you have little to no control over the majority of things that are happening around you and affect you directly or indirectly one indian film that all the cinema enthusiasts should catch up on is superman of malegaon it's directed by faiza ahmed khan in 30 days of indian cinema i'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential indian film that everyone should see today's recommendation comes from nakshatra also known as kalip ka khayal superman of Malegao conveys an inspiring message about the pervasiveness of dreams and the surprising places where creativity can bloom. Malegao, a place not typically identified with glitz and glamour of the film business, creates its own cinematic vocabulary by blending parody, satire, and true passion. It's a mark of the human spirit that we can find meaning even in the smallest of things. Superman of Malegao demonstrates the film industry's ability to bring people together. In an era where big budget films often dominate the industry, this documentary advocates the idea that storytelling is a fundamental human activity available to everyone regardless of the financial or geographical limits it's a rousing ode to the democratization of the art showing that anyone with a good idea can make a movie today's recommendation is the short documentary vaga in 30 days of indian cinema i'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential indian film that everyone should see 
Samarth, whose documentary Borderlands you may be familiar with, is the source of today's recommendation. Vaga adeptly navigates the human element amid this charged environment, showcasing the individual stories, emotions, and aspirations of those participating in or witnessing the ceremony. It humanizes the conflict, offering a glimpse into the lives of people on either side of the border, highlighting their shared heritage, hopes, and aspiration despite the political barriers. The documentary presents a captivating story that gently raises concerns about the point of ongoing animosity and the consequences of holding on to past grievances. In the middle of the passionate celebration of national pride, it invites reflection by making viewers think about the lasting effect of division and the prospect of reconciliation. What I like about the film is how it uses an innocent gaze to bring out the absurdity of the border and how it takes us back to a time when masses on both sides would get as close as possible to the gate to just look at each other. The film I want to talk about is Chaitanya Tamhane's 2014 film Court. In 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential Indian film that everyone should see. Today's recommendation comes from Amatula, also known as My Literary Experiment. In Court, Tamhane's masterful direction doesn't merely aim to expose the flaws in the system, but rather presents a nuanced portrayal of everyday life and the systemic challenges faced by those seeking justice. By juxtaposing the mundane court proceedings with the vibrant lives and struggles of the accused and the marginalized, the film unveils a stark contrast, magnifying the detachment of the legal apparatus from the realities of the common people. The careful editing and pacing of court makes the audience think about the bigger picture, making them question why our judicial system doesn't always get to the bottom of social injustice. It forces viewers to face unsettling realities about class division, censorship, and the gradual loss of personal freedoms disguised as justice. My favorite thing about the film is that it's very quiet. It doesn't have any of those typical hallmarks of a social justice film. No drama, no music to sort of make you feel one way or another. It just shows you what there is to be seen and it leaves you. A movie that I would like to recommend is Kumbhalangi Nights. In 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential Indian film that everyone should see. Today's recommendation comes from Shruti, also known as The Cinema Stories. Kumbhalangi Nights is a captivating portrayal of the complexities within the familial framework. The story delicately unravels the lives of four estranged brothers, each bearing scars from their past and embodying distinct personalities. The narrative adeptly navigates their journey towards reconciliation, highlighting their struggles, vulnerabilities, and the quest for emotional catharsis. The film's triumph lies in its masterful character development, transcending stereotypes to portray realistic, flawed individuals. It beautifully dissects notions of masculinity, showcasing the emotional depth and vulnerabilities often concealed behind societal expectations. Through the character arcs, it challenges traditional notions of strength and masculinity, portraying sensitivity as a defining trait rather than a weakness. This work of art demonstrates how stories can peel back the curtain on human nature and how relationships makes us who we are. I would like to recommend the 2011 Punjabi film Anya Kore Dadan, directed by Gurvinder Singh which is based on the novel that goes by the same name written by Gurdjahal Singh. This is 30 Days of Indian Cinema where I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an Indian film that everyone must watch. Today's recommendation comes from Gauri, also known as Meh Filme. Arms for a Blind Horse delves into the lives of individuals caught in the midst of social and economic struggles in rural Punjab, offering a moving and reflective depiction of rural life. The film reflects the hardship, hopelessness and broken dreams of a community dealing with the aftermath of agricultural disasters and social breakdown through its unadorned storytelling and harsh realism. The existential crisis of the villagers is unveiled in Gurvinder Singh's mesmerizing directorial debut. Quiet sadness and the interconnected intricacies of relationships, survival and disappointment are silently witnessed by the film's moody cinematography and methodical pacing. And the film is filled with eerie silences and pauses that might remind others of the cinema that was given to us by Govind Halani and Mani Kol. So you should definitely catch this film if you haven't already. I'd like to recommend The Middleman by Satyajit Ray. In this series titled 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for a must-see Indian film. Kabir, whose directing credits include Sadhu in Bombay, Buddha.mov, and Class, is here with today's recommendation. Jana Aranya is a moving look at how hard it is to make moral decisions in a city that is changing quickly. Satyajit Ray's masterful direction tells a story that goes beyond simple storytelling and offers 
was a deep look at what it means to be human. Using clever exposition, the movie shows the tough choices and moral dilemmas the main character faces as he reluctantly enters the world of middlemen. How an idealistic young man changes into a socially twisted mediator shows how society forces people to give up their dreams and make sacrifices in order to stay alive. But in the end, the film gives you a very bitter pill to swallow about the about the world, and that just goes to show that um, you know we have a history of. very sophisticated filmmaking that explores this global theme of how emotional life is affected by industrialization and um, economic issues the film i would like to recommend is amis the ravening the 2019 assamese film by bhaskar hazarika in this series titled 30 days of indian cinema i'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiast for a must see indian film today's recommendation comes from paroma also known as the cinema wali ami carefully handles the subtleties of desire obsession and the rules that society sets for what is appropriate in relationships the film skillfully shows the characters feelings showing their inner struggles weakness and the problems that come up because of the unusual relationship one of the most interesting thing about the movie is that it questions social rules and assumptions without passing judgment it doesn't try to justify or criticize the characters decisions instead it makes people think about how complicated human emotions and wants are and how they often go against what society says is right bhaskar hazarika's direction is subtle yet powerful emphasizing the emotional depths of the characters and their inner struggles the cinematography and the pacing adds a layer of melancholy and intensity enhancing the film's impact. I believe Amis is one of the best films of the last decade uh, not just Indian but internationally and anyone who hasn't seen Amis yet should definitely go and watch it I want to recommend a 2013 Tamil movie called Sudukavum the dark comedy written and directed by Nalan Kumarasamy In 30 days of Indian cinema I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential Indian film that everyone should see Today's recommendation comes from Sajit Sudhu Kavum shows how the characters feel frustrated and hopeless because the systems they live in are broken to begin with. The movie cleverly uses satire and dark humor to show how silly social norms are, especially when it comes to politicians, the media, and the justice system. Also, the movie does a great job going against traditional storylines, which challenges the audience's assumption and shows how hard it is to tell the difference between right and wrong. The story of the movie, which is full of dark humor and sharp wit, shows how good a director Nal. and kumarasamy is for me personally i would say it is one of the few movies that redefined tamil cinema in 2013 one indian film that i would recommend is 1971's classic by rishikesh maharshi anand in this series titled 30 days of indian cinema i'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for a must see indian film om the man behind the black buzz official has given us his recommendation for today friendship love sorrow and accepting one's own mortality are just a few of the aspects of human life that an delicately explores it stresses the value of appreciating the little things in life and making the most of every moment the grand message of anand's philosophy which is aur mujhe chahiye zindagi badi honi chahiye lambi nahi is to fully embrace each moment of existence Anand is more than just entertainment. Its relatable characters and emotionally charged story make it highly meaningful to viewers. It makes us think about how fragile life is and how important it is to make relationships that matter while we still can. My recommendation is Tumbad and it is clearly not an obscure film. It's one of the usual suspects, but I still keep recommending it to people because every single time I watch it, there's something new to unpack. In this series titled 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite cinephiles for a must in in film today's recommendation comes from arsh aka cinecuration tumbad is not just a movie it's a frightening look into the human mind dressed up as a dark and atmospheric fable the film's visual style is truly mesmerizing the imagery and attention to detail really pull you into the mysterious and ominous realm of tumbad every still is a work of art that not only furthers the story but also adds to the film's surreal and engrossing ambiance in essence tumbad is a cinematic symphony that resonates on several levels it's a story about the perils of untamed desires a visual treat for the eyes and an opportunity for introspection it's proof that films can do more than just amuse they can make you think and feel things and they can leave a lasting impression on you if you let them and let's say even if you have watched the film just go and watch the clips of making or the bts and rewatch the film your respect for the crew will be doubled by the end of this exercise for the sheer will of making this film happen against all odds Today's recommendation of Cycle comes from Parth. 
This is 30 Days of Indian Cinema where I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an Indian film that everyone must watch. Cycle is one of the best feel good Marathi films that I have come across. This straightforward lesson is based on timeless moral lessons and the values of life. It takes you back to your childhood and the feelings you had when you heard stories like these read aloud by your grandparents or in books like Aesop's Fables or the Panchatantra. The director has brilliantly captured the film score in its incredibly grounded depiction of a story that speaks to the depths of the Indian psyche without the use of overbearing music, crude jokes or even lavish locations. These days you rarely see a film like this. Parth had these things to say about the movie. Cycle wonderfully depicts rural India's simplicity, sincerity, kindness and innocence, a rare find in today's world. It brings a warm sense of belonging. The story in its quite wisdom speaks volumes without words, highlighting the importance of one's good deed over wealth. It's a touching tale of enduring virtues, connecting people beyond complexities so the film that i would want to recommend would be nazar by money call in 30 days of indian cinema i'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential indian film that everyone should see today's recommendation comes from rohit and you might recognize him from his work at films from underground the film nazar isn't designed for passive viewing on the contrary it calls for participation and an appreciation for experimental cinema it may shake up the storytelling industry with its abstract approach and non-traditional narrative style by incorporating dostoevsky's short narrative the meek one with the enduring poetry of Mir Taki Mir. Nazar creates a beautiful tapestry of visual poetry that delves deeply into the human condition. This cinematic masterpiece serves as a testament to Mani Call's futuristic vision, inviting audiences to embark on a contemplative and visually stimulating journey. But the specific thing in the film that stands out the most for me is the use of silence. The use of silence in the film speaks volumes and adds an extra layer of depth to the whole narrative. Nazar is a cinematic gem which deserves your attention and I would really recommend you guys giving it a watch. My favorite picture is called Gang Sabasipur Part 1 and Part 2. I saw these two pictures on the first day, first show, I saw Gang Sabasipur Part 2, I saw it for 25 more times. This is 30 Days of Indian Cinema where I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an Indian film that everyone must watch. The recommendation for today comes from Vinamra. You may know him as the host of Dostcast. Gang Sabasipur is a multi-layered story that spans generations and tells the bloody story of warring families, rivalries and grudges. The story goes into great detail about how violence repeats itself, how payback works and how the characters are always looking for power even after decades have passed. What makes this movie stand out is how honestly it shows how crime and politics are connected. A rough and unpolished look at the dark side of society is shown by peeling back the layers of systemic corruption, caste relations and the link between politics and crime. One mistake that my father did, he is doing his work today and he is doing his work and he is doing his work and he is doing his work and he is doing his work. Finally, the most important thing is that character is so complex, his life is traumatic, but he is also a bad man. Faisal Khan has never made it, so this is why I love these pictures and I will watch them any day. Anytime, I just love them. I would like to recommend 2017 Malayalam film Mahay Nadi, which is directed by Ashi Kabu. This is 30 Days of Indian Cinema, where I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an Indian film that everyone must watch. Today's recommendation comes from Raja, also known as Cinema Payan. Maya Nadi is about Mathan and Aparna's deep and complicated relationship. They are two people from very different backgrounds whose paths suddenly cross. Their love story takes place amidst the problems, doubts, and difficulties of their past. This creates a complex, multifaceted, and highly believable portrayal of love. This film has more appeal than most love stories is because it doesn't follow the usual plot. Instead, it shows love as a complex feeling that is tied to the harsh realities of life, societal norms, and personal goals. The movie shows that love isn't something that happens by itself, but is connected to all the complicated things that happen in life. When Malayalam films are known for its beautiful, feel-good ending, Mayanidhi will shatter your heart tenderly when the climax unfolds. The film I would recommend is a 2002 film, Devi Ahilla Bai by Jayu Patwardhan. In this series titled 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for a must-see Indian film. Today's recommendation comes from Indrajit, also known as My Blue Backpack. As a whole, Devi Ahilya Bai does a good job of examining leadership, empowerment and education. The film sheds emphasis on the achievements and historical relevance of Ahilya Bai's reign. Although the plot is interesting, you may need to be patient with the film's pace. 
watching Devi Ahilya Bai can satisfy your cravings for tales of female empowerment, Indian history, and motivation. It highlights an overlooked historical figure and honors her resilience. The reason why I like this film is it does talk about the medieval India from a female gaze and also uh, demystifies the notion of showing historical figures in a very righteous and always strong in those ways. So yeah, it does go beyond that and moreover, it just it's, it is a nice peek into the Holkar household. So my recommendation will be a Malayalam film called Nan Pakkal Nirata Mayakam. Is the film a surreal dream or it's all a drama play? Is it science fiction or supernatural? How do you define it? That's a challenge the film will provide to you. This is 30 Days of Indian Cinema where I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an Indian film that everyone must watch. Today's recommendation comes from Nona. Nanapakal Niratu Mayakam is calming, like taking a nap just after lunch. It brings back memories of a simpler, less cluttered time when your ideas were free to roam and it is a joy to watch this film. Using visuals and sound rather than heavy dialogues to create an immersive experience, Pelliseri's direction is at its most authentic. Theni Eshwar, who has stepped it up in this film, provides excellent assistance for this exploration of the human psyche. The ethereal quality of the film is achieved through the use of asymmetrical static shots that include several actions in a single frame. The one thing that is definitive about the film is that a mega star actor is enabling a director with a unique voice without any compromises. So the film that I'm recommending today is Salim Nangalpe Matro by Saeed Akbar Mirza. In 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential Indian film that everyone should see. Samraj, who is the DOP at Humans of Cinema, gives us today's recommendation. Salim Langdepe Matro's strength is that it shows social injustice in a real and honest way. It forces people to face hard facts about systemic biases, religious tensions, and how poverty repeats itself. Through his masterful direction, Sayyid Akhtar Mirza brings to light the many levels of Salim's life, showing how complicated his relationships are, how poverty grips him, and how minorities are constantly discriminated against. Even the title Salim Langdepe Matro is a strong metaphor that tells viewers not to feel sorry for Salim because he is disabled, but to understand how hard it is for him to deal with his emotions and the problems he faces in society. The film will take you through different battles between ideologies and their real life implications in the society that we live in. So the movie I want to recommend is Malayala movie called Munna Reaper. This is 30 Days of Indian Cinema where I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiast for an Indian film that everyone must watch. Today's recommendation comes from Anjali, also known as The Fourth Wall. Beyond its genre as a crime thriller, Munaripu delves deeply into the complexities of the human psyche. The story moves at a leisurely pace, letting the audience into the mind of the protagonist and making them think about how reality, perception and the truth are all intertwined. The film will prompt you to re-evaluate your assumptions about right and wrong and the subjective nature of truth. Raghavan is a character whose complexities are hidden in mystery and ambiguity, and Mamoti demonstrates mastery in nuance and depth in his portrayal of the character. His performance, along with the film's subtle direction and screenplay, generates an air of mystery and tension that never lets up. At first, you'd be wondering what is happening, where is the story heading, you know, we have no clue. But for me, the, the point of climax, it was all worth it. I would love to recommend this 1969 landmark film by Vrinal Sen called Bhuvan Shom. In this series, title 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for a must-see Indian film. Today's recommendation comes from Biswaroop, your favorite admin at IFP. Bhuvan Shom is brilliant because of how understated and effortless it is. The story becomes an insightful examination of the human mind as it follows Bhuvan Shom on his trip, illuminating the shackles of social norms and the freeing effect of accepting change. The film's sparse storytelling puts the focus squarely on the character's emotions and Bhuvan Shom's transformation arc. The film changed the face of Indian cinema forever with its innovative editing techniques and narrative approach. I love this film for how subtly it provides thought-provoking commentary on the rural-urban divide in India. Fun fact, popular film Lagan was heavily inspired by Bhuvan Show. I would like to recommend the 2009 Marathi film Harish Chandrachi Factory which is directed by Paresh Mokashi. In 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential Indian film that everyone should see. Today's recommendation comes from Cineman. Dada Saheb Falke was an incredibly passionate man who, as seen in Harish Chandrachi Factory, endured great hardship in his pursuit of bringing the enchantment of moving pictures to India. In the early 20th century, when the British were still a dominion, the story takes place as Dada Saheb faced enormous obstacles and social doubts as he strives to create India 
India's first feature film, Raja Harish Chandra, in 1913. This film honors the resilience, creativity, and unwavering determination of the human spirit. As Dada Saheb ventures into the unexplored terrains in the world of filmmaking, the film painstakingly depicts his emotional and financial hardship. The movie celebrates the endurance of the human spirit by following Dada Saheb Falke on his journey and showing how passion can overcome adversity. The movie I would like to recommend you guys, Om Kara by Vishal Bharadwaj, which came in 2006, and it's pretty amazing. This is 30 Days of Indian Cinema, where I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an Indian film that everyone must watch. Meet, who is paid to watch films at IFP, is the source of today's recommendation. As a daring adaptation of Shakespeare's ageless tragedy Othello set in rural India, Omkara succeeds artistically in creating an intense and emotionally charged film. Directed by Vishal Bharadwaj in 2006, this film delves deep into the complexities of power, human vulnerability, and the destructive force of manipulation and jealousy. The adaptation by Vishal Bharadwaj is a work of art, expertly weaving the rural Indian setting into the very foundation of Shakespeare's tragedy. The complexity of the characters who are all struggling with their own set of desires, loyalties, and inner demons is the film's strongest point. The way Vishal Bharatwaj has adapted Othello into Indian context is just phenomenal. When it comes to acting, entire star cast has done just outstanding job. So the cinema that I would love to recommend is Karnan by Madi Selvaraj. In 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for an essential Indian film that everyone should see. Thanks to Nabamita for today's recommendation. Karnan's power is in the unflinching way it portrays social injustices, police brutality and the unbreakable bond of the oppressed. Anger, empathy and a burning desire for justice are just a few of the strong emotions stirred up by the powerful story, which exposes the viewers to the harsh realities in endured by the oppressed groups. This film is a powerful symbol of the never-ending fight for equality. Aside from being a work of cinematic marvel, it prompts thought on social injustices, the strength of the human will and the need to stand together in the face of oppression. It is the perfect blend of uh, masala, drama and socio-political topics that I seek in my Indian mass cinema. One Indian film I would like to recommend is a 2001 film by Meera Nair called Monsoon Wedding. In this series titled 30 Days of Indian Cinema, I'll be asking some of your favorite film enthusiasts for a must-see Indian film. Today's recommendation comes from Cinema Explorer. A moving ode to family ties, Monsoon Wedding is about love, strength and perseverance. The film's depiction of the human condition with all its complexity, paradoxes, pleasures and sorrows can cut across cultural boundaries. The cinematography expertly captures the essence of Delhi during the monsoon, creating a visually striking background that reflects the protagonist's emotional ups and downs. Meera Nair's ability to show the subtleties of Indian culture through her direction is clear. The film handles the conflicts between tradition and modernity with grace, showing the problems people face when they are torn between what society expects of them and what they really want. It's a perfect start for anyone who wants to explore Meera Nair's filmography. You can also find a letterbox list of these movies in the description and leave a comment if you have a favorite Indian film that you think everyone should see.